you, Margie. That was a beautiful sunrise. Nice to see you. And we also have a guest this morning, Dr. Justin Sheehy, cardiologist at Mercy Clinic, joins us this morning to discuss how to recognize a heart attack and what you should do if you do have one. Dr. Sheehy, good morning. Morning. Thanks for having me on. Want to Appreciate shake your hand? It. How you doing, Absolutely. bud? Glad to have you here this morning. Now, we, this is a serious topic, and we got a question here. How long are some people waiting before they address this situation? So, unfortunately, we've seen it where people have had it where they're ignoring symptoms for up to 24 or even longer mm -hmm. than that. And really, the important thing to know is that once a heart attack is starting to happen, mm -hmm. people do start having permanent heart damage that can happen within an hour or so. Wow, that's some pretty major damage. Can this cause more damage or have an effect on a full recovery? It definitely can. So our job when someone is having a heart attack is to get in, basically take them to the cath lab as quick as possible, get a complete, uh, completely occluded artery open as fast as we can. Our, targets are actually to meet it in less than 90 minutes. Um, and the whole reason is that that prevents long-term damage if we don't get that artery open within that time. What are some common and uncom uncommon signs rather of a heart attack? Some of the common ones, usually people describe more chest pain, mm -hmm. chest pressure, kind of heaviness and shortness of breath. Usually kind of uh, some uh, shortness of breath that happens, especially worsening with exertion when you're walking. Mm -hmm. Some of the atypical things that people can notice is really bad heartburn, especially with sweating. And if you're noticing that anytime you're walking or trying to kind of rev up that heart engine, usually that's when people start noticing that, hey, something's going on, the heart's kind of starved of oxygen. Is there any age we should start to be looking out for that? Is like a 25 and up type thing for males or females? Um, so typically we think about it more kind of people's 50s and 60s mm -hmm. and beyond, uh, but we have seen an uptick in heart attacks, especially in patients rarely in their 20s, but even in their 30s and 40s, especially the last few years, there have been increased risk, uh, rates of it as well. Now, what are some prevention or treatment options you can suggest for some people before they get into this type of tough situation? Really working with your primary care doctor, getting your cholesterol under really good control, managing your diabetes. Smoking is really one of the biggest ones too, so if you can stop smoking, no tobacco use definitely makes a huge impact overall as well. But getting that cholesterol level down, statins have amazing benefit um, and help prevent all these sorts of things. Is it something though, as far as age-wise, that should, people should have on their radar? radar? Yeah, uh, so routine guidelines, just screening for cholesterol, seeing your physician at least by the age of 40, mm -hmm. usually a little bit sooner, being checked out and just evaluated, especially if you have a strong family history, all that's very important too. Who, who can people contact over at Mercy if they have some questions about this? Uh, so either through your primary care physician, uh, we have a lot of primary care docs that are great throughout the system, uh, but we're always happy to see people if they're uh, concerned about their heart risk, um, you can contact our office, the Mercy Clinic Heart and Vascular, we have a whole lot of different resources, can get in to see a doctor and at least do some screening evaluation for it too. Awesome information. Thank you much, doctor. Yep, appreciate appreciate joining us. Yeah, thank you. Good looking tie too. Thanks. Like that. All right, let's toss things over to Amelia if you're looking at your traffic this morning. Yep, and we have